So treatment options for dogs with ACL tears are really broken down into two large categories. One category is a replacement technique. And we've done replacement techniques for decades and decades. In fact, when I was a senior in veterinary school 31 years ago, replacement techniques were what we were using. In humans, some form of replacement is the gold standard, but humans have level tibial plateaus. Uh, in dogs, for the most part, the replacement techniques uh, are fading and, and they're being replaced with a technique that changes the biomechanics in the joint instead of an attempt to replace the ligament. The problem with the ligament replacement is that chronic biomechanical stress that we think tore the ACL causes the replacement technique to loosen. Um, there's one replacement technique that, uh, that some surgeons are doing now, and it's called the tightrope technique. We've not done a lot, but we've done a handful, and they've not worked out really well in our hands. Uh, but I have an illustration of, of that technique. The way the technique works is a bone tunnel is made through the tibia and a bone tunnel is made through the femur. Then this very tough material uh, is laced through those bone tunnels, crosses on the outside of the joint in the same orientation uh, as the ACL. Of course, the ACL really lives in the middle of the joint, not on the outside of the joint. Uh, and then the, the material is anchored with uh, these stainless steel buttons. Again, the problem with the replacement techniques is we find that the bone tunnels widen over time as the material wears, they become rounded, which makes things come loose. Uh, the, the metal buttons, if there's any soft tissue caught under them, uh, it necroses. And so what's tight at surgery isn't tight two weeks later. And we've even seen the buttons actually subside down into the bone uh, as the bone undergoes some degree of pressure necrosis, again resulting in instability and looseness uh, following the procedure. So, so that's, that's the problem uh, with the replacement techniques and why many of us have abandoned them. Uh, and we've abandoned them in favor of, of changing the biomechanics. And, and the, there's two competing techniques for that. Uh, one is called a tibial tuberosity advancement, or TTA. And that's what is shown on this illustration. Uh, and it involves a bone cut and a plate that changes the orientation of the patella tendon. Uh, here at CCO, we've done hundreds of TTAs, um, but we've had better luck in our hands with the other procedure that changes the biomechanics called the TPLO. Uh, and in the next section, I'll discuss the TPLO at length uh, and uh, we'll move to that.